The Blackmagic Pocket 4K is one crazy camera, but I've noticed a lot of people using it are sharpening it wrong in DaVinci Resolve. Hey, it's Joe Bear. so happy to see your beautiful face, and in this video, I'm gonna show you the proper way to sharpen your Blackmagic footage, or any footage, in DaVinci Resolve. Today, I wanna start a new show for the channel called Three Minute Thursday, a show where I copy the format of Two Minute Tuesday from Peter McKinnon in an attempt to get myself to upload videos more consistently and deliver value to you every week. Let's go. When I first got my Pocket 4K, I was surprised that the footage looked less sharp than the footage from my GH5, even if I used the same lenses. So the reason for this is that your Blackmagic Pocket 4K or 6K is recording in Blackmagic RAW. So it delivers your footage RAW, nothing added, like a piece of sushi. Turns out pretty much every consumer camera has some bit of sharpening in it. Even my GH5, if I turn the sharpening all the way down, it still sharpens quite a bit. So it's a feature you can't turn off. So it seems cool that we have this with the black magic that you have to add it yourself. If you're like me, you prefer a little bit of sharpness to your footage. And in fact, it is good practice to add a little bit of sharpening when you're working with the black magic. So let's go into DaVinci and open up the color page. Select the last node of your color grade. And this is where you want to add the sharpening at the very last node. Select the node and then go into the blur and sharpen page. And then you will find this radius, drag it down to about 47. This is what most people do. But I promised I was gonna show you the proper way of doing it. So there's a one more step we want to do. Go back to your node and select color space and go to lab. The default color channel is RGB, red, green, and blue. And what we're doing by switching it to lab is luminance, tint, and temperature. Now when you're sharpening, you don't want to sharpen all the colors. What you want to sharpen is only the luminance. So once you've changed the color space, you can then right click again select channels and uncheck channel two and three. This way, the only color space that remains is actually the luminance. So now that you're applying the sharpening, it only applies to the luminance of your footage. It is a slight extra step, but it removes any color artifacting in the sharpening process. If you skip this step, a lot of the times you will see like weird yellow colors around like finer details. And done, that's how you sharpen your footage, but Let's add one extra little tip to make it faster. Instead of doing this to every single clip individually, what you can do is you can group your clips into a group. Then on the page where the nodes are, you can select post grade and any adjustments that you make here will be applied to all the clips after the base grade. So select the node here and do the sharpening here. That way you just have to do it once and it's applied to all your footage. And the great thing about this is that sharpening tends to slow down your workflow a little bit. Your computer, you know, it's heavy for the computer. So if you want to toggle it off, you just have to toggle off this one node rather than toggling every single clip off. All right, done. How did I do on time? Did I stay within three minutes? That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Now, if you did learn anything from this video, I challenge you to share it with one of your friends because they might learn something too. Make sure you like and subscribe to see more videos and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.